Universal Studios Hollywood. The Samuel Goldwyn Company presents American Gladiators. Selected from a nationwide search, 20 men and women have come to Hollywood to challenge our force of American Gladiators for a single honor to become American Gladiators Champions. Now, here are your American Gladiators, Gemini, Lace, Nitro, Gold, Laser, Blaze, Thunder, Ice, Turbo, and Diamond. The host for American Gladiators, Mike Hadley and his co-host, Larry Zonka. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Danimley, along with NFL Hall of Famer number 39 from the Miami Dolphins, one of the great ones of all time, Mr. Larry Zonka. Well, thank you, Mike. <laughs> we have quite a showdown for you today. Four outstanding men and women, very, very gifted athletes, as last year's champions compete against this year's winners. Larry, to say the least, it should be very, very intense competition. Well, just to claim the overall championship has got to be a real motivation. And then we have some other motivation that we've thrown in. First place, a brand new car. Second place, an all-expense-paid trip to Hawaii. That's motivation, don't you think, Mike? That's plenty of motivation. So with that in mind, let's meet the contenders for this championship final. In our women's championship, please welcome back Maria Nicktine of Cincinnati, Ohio, a human services worker. And her opponent, Doran Cumberbatch of New York City, a teacher for the language impaired. In the men's championship, please welcome back Rico Costantino of Santa Ana, California, a bodyguard. And his opponent, Craig Branham of Canyon Country, California, a rodeo cowboy. Duran, you've been one of the most talented and graceful female contenders we've ever had here on the American Gladiators, and I know you had a chance to talk to your family in Bermuda. What was their reaction when you won the finals? Well, they knew that I was going to do good. They knew how good, but they're really excited. Good luck today, and let's hope you finally get some points. Craig, we have found out many things about you during your stint on the American Gladiators, a team roper, a rodeo cowboy. You've done a lot of different things. Uh, currently an actor, you've been on Cheers, you've been in uh, Murder, She Wrote, I have a lead in a film. But this has to be the most difficult role, certainly most physically demanding role you've ever played before. Well, it, it definitely is, Mike. Um, I didn't let on that I was an actor or any of that stuff when I came on the show because I wanted to come on fully as an athlete because that's why I'm here. And, uh, you know, but it's been, it's been very tough. It's been a great, though, competing against all these guys, all my other competitors and the gladiators. It's been, uh, become like a big family, and it's kind of neat. Well, there's, you certainly have nothing left to prove. I think everybody in the audience and all of us here, certainly the gladiators, know that you are a great athlete. Larry? Maria, the Cincinnati kid, you've smiled all the way from the preliminaries all the way through the championship. You kind of disproved the old saying that nice guys finish last. You're right on top where you want to be. I've been having a wonderful time. I mean, the gladiators have been great. The contenders have been great. So I can't, I'm very thankful for how far I've gotten, and I can't do anything but smile. Good luck today. Rico, we call you Rockin' Rico around here. You've won the audience over. They're supportive of you. I know in the finals, in the championship finals there, you got a thump on the head from a guy that's taken several thumps over, over the years on the head. Uh, have, have you got it back? Are you all together now? I think my marbles are intact. Uh, I took a good shot and uh, just had to regroup real quick and continue on. <laughs> well, good luck today. I'm glad you're back with all your faculties. Rico, Maria, good luck. Mike? Gladiators, this is your very last chance at these contenders. Best of luck to all four of you. Let the championship final begin. And our contender's quest to become grand champion begins with a joust. And Rico Costantino is up first. If you remember, a few months ago, Rico went undefeated in four rounds of competition and scored high enough to earn top seed honors throughout. And he's going to meet up with a familiar foe. He's going to go against Gemini. You know, Larry, for the most part, I'm Gemini going. has been able to intimidate the contenders. He won't intimidate this young man. Oh, Gemini slips, regains his balance. Rico 
was too nice of guy. He should have waylaid Jim and I when he went down. Instead, he hesitated. Boy, Rico missed a golden opportunity. Well, you just can't be a nice guy in that joust as Rico hangs on and picks up five points, steps across and congratulates Jim and I, but too nice a guy. Rico and Gemini, another thriller in the joust. Rico, my question to you is, uh, talk about good sportsmanship. You had Gemini down on one knee, and Gemini, he didn't take a swing at you. He waited for you to get back up. Why? Competition. I mean, I want it to be fair. This, he's the toughest gladiator up here. He's the man. I don't want to get him when he was down. I want to duke it out. It's better that way. Boom, boom, boom. You know? Gemini, what about this guy? Oh, he's a great competitor. I think, I think sometimes you want to get a little too nice in competition. I think he should have took my head off when I went down, <laughs> to be honest with you. But then I respect him for wanting to compete one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's a great competitor. He's been great throughout the competition. Just to set the record straight, Rico, one win. You have two draws. Would you like a rematch? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rico and Gemini coming to a theater near you soon. Rico yeah. and Gemini 4. We'll do it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Both nice guys. As Rico's girlfriend says, we'll take the five points. Craig Branham's up next, and he hails from the western parts also, and around here he's known as the Cowboy. And like Rico, he's undefeated through four rounds of competition and has gunned down several of the gladiators in the past. The joust, however, is not one of his best events, and unfortunately, this is one of Gemini's strongest events. On guard! Jim and I using that pugil stick like a sledgehammer. Craig has made several early exits from this event, but he's doing a good job of redeeming himself here. Just doesn't have enough firepower, but Jim and I does the big backhand, and Craig goes down. Craig, you took some hard, hard hits, Cowboy. Let's, let's face it. And you stayed in there. You hung in there. You were aggressive. And I noticed there when two or three of those hits landed, you started getting a little angry. You went on the aggressive style yourself and attacked him, even though you're giving up some 75, 80 pounds, I believe. Yeah, Larry, he was, he was brutal up there, man. <laughs> he knocked me silly. I was seeing stars on that first shot, and it never ended. I mean, finally I was able to start blocking him. But then I guess I fell off the last second or something. But it was unbelievable. I've never been hit like that before. I can believe it. Good job. Thanks, Thank you. Larry. So it's Rico Castantino who jumps to the early lead. But more action still to come here on the American Gladiators, including Powerball. But the women's joust is next. We are back. Universal Studios Hollywood, where the women are set to begin their championship round. Now, Maria Nickting's journey here began with a regional tryout in Cincinnati. But not only did the Flash survive that, but she also has lasted four rounds and enters this championship undefeated. She has also pledged never, never to go down in the joust, and she hasn't. But right now, she draws gold. Maria definitely taking an offensive posture. And she is gonna make good on her promise. She doesn't go down. She doesn't win, but she earns five points for the draw. Maria's opponent is New York City's Duran Cumberbatch. Born and raised in Bermuda, Duran has swept through her previous four rounds undefeated with a punch of a tropical storm. And she's pretty much set the pace here for the women's competition on American Gladiators. Duran 
Ryan with an excellent sense of balance. Not letting Gold leverage her off the pedestal, and she's gonna go the entire way. She too earns a draw. Our contenders, farewell, Mike, as three of the four last for draws. The women ended up tied at five after their first event. Rico on the men's side leads our men's championship as they prepare to go head to head with Gemini, Laser, and Nitro in our 45 second contest of Powerball. And Powerball is brought to you by Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo, now you're playing with power. Larry, our gladiators have sent out their quick team, Laser and Nitro joining Gemini, because in the past, both Craig and Rico have given the gladiators fits. They're both quick, they both know how to make moves, and they'll pull a few power plays when they have to. Well, I don't think I'd pull Gemini Craig. for the power play. I think I might try to work it on Laser or Nitro. Craig blows by Laser to score early, and Rico does the same against Gemini. Craig again scoring. Doubts after that match of Powerball, Rico Constantino and Craig Branham have turned it up a notch. How do you take it? I mean, you're only 175 pounds, and you're giving away 40, 50 pounds in many cases. Well, I, it's resilience and determination, Mike. I made it this far. I, I'm not going to give up now. Resilience and determination are the same attributes that Rico possesses. Not quite as quick as Craig. You rely more on power moves. I'm okay for 210, but not that fast. I'd, Run a little fake here, a little fake there, and then power towards the bucket. So I used the word powerball to its max. You got bruises, you got scrapes. How do you feel? Awesome. I feel good. <laughs> awesome good or awesome? Yeah. Awesome good. Both men feeling awesome good. 8-8 eight, eight the final in this powerball match. Keep it going, men. <laughs> With a tie in powerball, Rico maintains his lead over Craig. And speaking of deadlocks, that's exactly where the women stand after one event as they prepare to take on Blaze. Lace and gold in Powerball. Larry, you know, sometimes championships don't live up to their advanced billing. Boy, this one has both between Craig and Rico and Duran and Maria. Nose to nose, Mike, right down to the wire, the way the championships ought to be. Ready? Duran right off the bat gets by Lace. So Maria got the double team. Oh, Maria seizing the moment, having an open run for four points in the middle. Grant answers right back. Lace just can't handle the quickness of Duran Cumberbatch. Nor the quickness of Maria Nickting. And that's it. Grant scores the final bucket, but Maria wins it 10 8. And Mike, right here's the difference as Maria seizing the moment. She's wide open, cuts down through the middle, picks up four points. Then later in the match, a little shake and bake pass lace as Maria scores what turns out to be the winning goal. So for the first time in this grand championship, Maria has taken the lead. Still to come on the American Gladiators, hang tough, but the wall is next. Welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood, and the wall looms as the next challenge for our contenders. Rico leads Craig in this men's championship, and the Cowboy told us how growing up on a ranch influenced his athletic life. You know, my dad was a very avid athlete himself, with us especially. 
So everything we did, he did with us. You know, he'd sprint with us and run with us and make us push us just that little bit farther. And uh, so there's all those little games that maybe, maybe you got to do on the ranch that, that you didn't get to do in the city. I don't know if the ranch had a wall like this. Rico's going to be facing the challenge of laser. Meantime, Craig's going to be followed up the wall by Nitro. Incidentally, Craig, the men's record holder in this event, 22 seconds to the top. As a matter of fact, in their eight previous attempts, both Craig and Rico have been successful all eight times. Oh, Rico slips, and you can kiss the streak goodbye. He took the big gamble, trying to catch up to Craig, and as a result, slipped off, and Craig is alone on the wall. Just the cowboy against himself. I don't think he's going to match his record pace of 22 seconds, but he's up there and he has the 10 points. Craig, this is your specialty. You ought to write a manual on how to climb the wall. Something special coming up this thing. Well, it's 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 got to be one of the funnest, the most fun events, Mike. I, I really enjoyed it. It's such a challenge. It's a, it's like a triple challenge. You got to beat your opponent to the top. You have to be able to elude the uh, gladiator, and you got to conquer the wall itself. So, and Enrico Constantino, you were going against a man who has not been beaten before in this event. Well, when you get two undefeated men up there, somebody somebody has to go down, and thank God it was me who made it to the top. <laughs> well, you mentioned you needed the points, ten points in this event, and now after three events, you have taken the lead. Congratulations. Right. Thanks, Mike. Five for five for Craig Branham on the wall, and as a result, he takes over the men's lead. Meantime, over in our women's contest, Maria in the lead as they await the start of their wall event. Durant's trailing by two. She's going to face off with Diamond. And our leader, Maria, is going to take on Lace. Ready? One more time, our contenders given a 10 second head start in both Maria and Duran, like Craig and Rico, excel in this event. Duran taking an inside line. Duran with a slight lead. Oh, she almost loses it. Duran with a hand up, so is Maria. Duran up first in 31 seconds. Maria right behind her in 32. I'll tell you what, when it comes to scaling the wall, nobody does it better than these two female contenders, Duran and Maria. Congratulations, 10 points for you, five points for you. After three events, Duran now leads 23 to 20. So another lead change for the women, Mike, as the men remain close after three events as well. Next. They're going to take to the skies for Hang Tough. Our leader, Craig, is up first, and he's going to be swinging against the best in this event, Turbo. Craig, we might add, the best of the men contenders. There's an art to this event, and both Craig and Turbo have it down. Craig knows how to get his momentum going. He's just a little short of the ring connection that he wanted. There he's got it. Yeah, he changed his mind because he's right up on Turbo. Boy, Turbo doing a terrific job of cutting him off. Now coming from behind, got him around the shoulders, and down goes Craig Branham for one of the very few times. 265 pounds, cleans him right off the ring. And take a look at the expression on Craig's face as he knows Turbo's approaching him. Turbo gets a hold of him, wraps him up, and that 265 pounds does the rest.
Well, Rico Costantino is up next. He's never done this event before, but he figures that his positive attitude will take care of everything. You have to have that self-confidence, but yet it can't. You, but then again, you cannot step over into overconfidence. You, know, you never think anything's a sure thing, whether you're good at the event or not. And if you don't go the other way either, be underconfident. It's a fine line that you have to travel, and um, you just stay on it, and you'll be all right. You know, just believe you believe in yourself, and I, I wish I do. Hank Tough is a new event on American Gladiators this season, and when Rico won his finals, it wasn't part of the format. So now he's going to get his chance, and he draws turbo just like Craig did. Larry, I think Rico's going to like this event. He's got the good upper body strength, and well, he's got the good attitude too, Mike. And obviously, unafraid of turbo, he's heading right down the middle, almost directly towards turbo. He's almost abreast of him now. Uh oh. oh. Rico missing that second ring, and down he goes as Turbo introduces him to Hang Tough. Rico moving well, but misses the grip on that second ring, and Turbo says, uh-uh, no way are you going back. I got a hold of you now. And it's all over. So Turbo shuts out the man in Hang Tough, and Craig holds his lead over Rico. Still to come on the American Gladiators is our game of assault. But women's hang tough is next. Our championship round continues here at Universal Studios Hollywood as Duran Cumberbatch leads Maria Nick King in this championship round. Diamond will handle the hang tough honors for the Gladiators and swinging first against her will be Maria. Like Rico, Maria has never done this Ready? event. And she won her finals, hang tough, not part of the format. She looked like she was born to the rings though, Larry. Yeah, same uh, philosophy as Rico, right down the middle. I hope she has a little better results with it. Closing in on that platform. Diamond's getting awfully close, though. Drop the right, Maria! And did it in only 28 seconds. It was great. Tell us about it. I was really insecure about doing this event because I haven't gotten, you know, practice in it. But I mean, just the feeling of being able to look and say, okay, I've got to do it. I was going straight. I didn't care where she was. I was going straight on. <laughs> straight on, and that effort worth 10 points, three events to go. Thank you very much. Maria Nishting. Well, straight down the middle, helps Maria regain her lead, at least for the moment. Duran will swing next, and she compares American Gladiators to a different tour of duty. I'm one of those people who would join the army or something just for basic training because that's something I figured I'd enjoy doing. And this is like basic training for me. You know, I'd have to be here for three years or something. Certainly a different way of looking at the competition here on American Gladiators, but this coming from a woman who trained for her competition here by climbing 22 flights of stairs in her apartment back in New York City. Mike, she's one of the few people I've ever heard say that he might enjoy basic training. <laughs> Her and Diamond have had spirited matches in the past in this event, Hank Tough. Duran on the aggressive, runs right into Diamond's back. Watch out when Diamond extends those legs. It's usually the beginning of the end. For our contenders now, she strips her hands off the rings, and with 27 seconds left on the clock, Diamond pulls Duran off. Diamond almost comes off her own ring, manages to grab a hold of Duran's shirt, swings over to her, wraps those legs around her, and then it's just a matter of pulling her arms off the ring. One good jolt, and down she comes. So Diamond can celebrate her takedown of Duran, 
while Maria does the same for taking over the lead in our women's final. Craig Branham leads Rico Costantino in the men's championship go-round as they prepare to load in for Atlasphere. Our game, where both contenders compete simultaneously for 60 seconds in an attempt to score in one of four red, white, and blue scoring pods worth three points each. Two gladiators also roll around in spheres of their own, and they try to keep the contenders from scoring. Rico Costantino loading in, the man from Santa Ana, California, doing battle with the cowboy from Canyon Country, California, Craig Branham. On the right, in the cage! Yeah! Yeah! Ready, red! Ready, blue! Gemini's partner for this rage in the cage is Thunder. He's ready to roll. Okay, shut it off. And our referee, Larry Thompson, smart enough to get out of the way. <laughs> this is going to be a good one, Larry. Yep. Boy, Thunder knocked Craig Branham sideways, but he managed to settle into that pod for the first goal. As Rico rolls in, will he be able to settle? Yes, he picks up the point. Gemini wants Rico bad. Rico gets back in that pot and scores again. So does Craig. And still 30 seconds left of the clock. Here comes Rico again. And now the Cowboy settles in. It's 9-9. Here's Rico again. <laughs> right on the edge. Rico scores again. Rico pulling off two unanswered scores right at the end to take a 15-9 victory. Normally you can count the number of goals scored in Atlas here on one hand. Today we needed an adding machine between you and Craig Branham. It's got to be a personal record for you. Five goals, 15 yes. points. Yes, I needed it. I needed it good. Rico, you had some time to think about it. You're not accustomed to being behind. You trailed significantly coming into this event. Yeah, but uh, that's a true sportsman and a true athlete. You don't, uh, you take the good with the bad. You smile with the good and you smile with the bad. You just regroup and carry on. And there's two more events here. And don't wait to count Craig out. He's an excellent, excellent athlete, and uh, he wouldn't be here if he wasn't a champion. There's no question that nobody is counting the Cowboy out right now, but at this moment in time, with two events to go, you have taken a 28-27 lead. Yeah! 15 to nine is our final tally in men's atmosphere, and that's good enough to give Rico back the lead after five events. Maria leads Duran in our women's championship, but holding such a lead is not so important to Maria at this stage about my opponent because it's not going to matter how I feel towards them. It's not going to change how they score. Whether I'm worried about what they have, I have to worry about myself and score as well as I can each event and, you know, try to get ahead that way. Sound philosophy, but unfortunately our gladiators not philosophy majors. Diamond will try to disrupt that. She'll be joined by Blaze. Now Duran getting loaded inside of her blue atmosphere. Pretty much the same approach to this contest as Maria. Don't worry about the other contender. Just try to score yourself. And the match is underway. <laughs> Whoa. Our gladiators waste no time getting acquainted with our contender. room to maneuver out there. Maria has found a little opening and scores the first goal of this contest. Durant close and settles and picks up the point. Again, each goal worth three points. Duran on the edge, she settles in. She's added three more points. 
Maria trying to knock Duran out of the way. Up, Gets a little opening. A little change of direction. Pays off for Duran, and is it going to pay off for Maria? Laying on her back, oh, trying yeah. to get up the center lane. She does. <laughs> that score wraps it up as Duran wins this game of atmosphere and cuts in on the lead of Maria after five events. Still to come on American Gladiators, the Eliminator. But up next is Assault. One shot. Laser's message can mean only one thing, Assault, where contenders have 60 seconds to hit a target using a crossbow, rocket launcher, cannon, pistol, and finally, three softballs. Now a contender can also earn points in this event by completing the course without getting hit. Rico leads Craig coming in, and he'll be the first to take aim at Laser. Ready? Laser says, come and get me. very deliberate like laser said all it takes is one shot Ooh. Cowboys turn. Another day. Another day at the ranch. <laughs> Ready? Frank can jump back into the lead with a target hit here. Laser kidding Craig a little bit. Craig deadly serious. I gotta tell you, when you started this event, you looked like the proverbial fox looking into the chicken coop. You were grinning and waving up there at Laser. He enjoyed it, didn't you? Man, he had one shot when I was going to the second thing. I had to do the boom limbo <laughs> move, man. That sucker went right through the small of my back. But uh, I got here to my basketball. That's my old game, and it came through for me again. It came through big time, my friend, because you hit the bullseye. You Yay! got the 10 points. Right down to the wire. Good luck to you and good luck to Rico. Thanks, sir. Good job. And Craig shot an assault. Puts him back in the lead after six events. In the women's championship, Maria holds the slim edge over Duran as they now take aim in assault. And doing the honors for the Gladiators, Lease. Ready? Lace might be having a little problem getting her gun to fire properly as Maria just misses. Maria looked like a high hurdle champion there. Again, she comes very close to hitting the target. Lace laying down a barrage. I think she hit the physical twice. Maria 
clawing her way towards that final safe zone, and Lace was able to nail her. And who loves you, Lace? <laughs> Those youngsters do. Well, she gets another chance, this time against Duran Cumberbatch. Ready? Duran, not a whole lot of luck in this event. Well, now she has an opportunity to take over the lead if she can just connect with one of the weapons. Again, keeping one eyeball on the target and one eyeball on Lacey's cannon. Ran plenty quick to avoid some of those shots. It's a good job facing upfield and utilizing that speed. Yes. She scores! This is it, the Eliminator, Duran leads by three points. Maria would have to beat Duran by a second and a half to emerge as grand champion. Our contenders have already pocketed $10,000. The winner here gets an additional five grand plus a brand new Chevrolet Camaro. Up the treadmill they go. Keep in mind, Mike, that the women have 75 seconds to complete the course with each second left on the clock worth two points. Straining on the hand bike. Maria the first on the balance beam, but she loses her balance and off she goes. Duran trying to hang on and does. Maria's going to be assessed a penalty for that fall. Now somewhere along the way, Maria's gonna have to regain the ground she lost. Duran the first on the zip line. One final straightaway to go for Duran Cumberbatch. And capping off a great performance, a little bit of luck. No gladiator behind her door. A seesaw battle from the start, Mike, but Maria just didn't have a final comeback in her. The balance beam hurt her badly, but take nothing away from Duran's effort. She's the grand champion. You know, it's not often that a championship event of any kind lives up to its advanced billing. But this was one of those rare occasions between Maria Nishting and Duran Cumberbatch. Back and forth they went through seven events. First Maria led, then Duran led, then Maria led, then Duran led. It came down to the Eliminator final and Duran didn't so much win it as you lost it. You made a mistake that you have never made in the Eliminator, Maria. Um, I've never been hit. Usually I can outrun it on the balance beam, but she got me this time. I guess they were used to me just taking off. Maria, of course, you are not going home empty-handed. You've already won $10,000. We're also sending you on an all-expenses paid vacation to the Hawaiian Islands. That'll be nice. And we also have the runners-up trophy. <laughs> Maria, congratulations. Thanks so very much for being with us. Thanks a lot. Okay, hon. Well, Duran... <laughs> Now, come on now, let it out. Scream or something, the gladiators were saying. Woo! And we've got something for you, too, our championship trophy. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Congratulations to Duran Cumberbatch, our women's grand champion. Over in our men's championship, Craig leads Rico by nine points, meaning that Rico would have to win by 4.5 seconds Ready? to become our grand champion. Both contenders are excellent at the Eliminators, so this should be a good run. Side by side across the hand bike. Rico blowing by that talking pad, <laughs> knocking off his hinges. Craig Branham in trouble. Craig a little bit behind. It's kind of lit his booster before. Let's see what happens. Rico.
go the first off the zip line. Remember, he has to win by 4.5 seconds. Nitro behind his door. Rico crosses the finish line first, but Craig was right on his heels. Rico's lead was not enough. Craig Branham, the grand champion. gentlemen from an old horse that's been to the championships that knows what it takes in the form of blood, sweat, tears, guts, and hard work, if you will, to obtain a championship. I want to tell you, these two gentlemen personify that kind of attitude and that kind of competition. Rico, yeah. you came into this thing four and a half second underdog. You had to make it up, and you did a great job of making it up. You just came through a door where there was a gladiator, and Cowboy didn't, and that made the difference. Uh, it was a great race. I wouldn't have it in the way. I mean, a close finish, a close race. All the fans, they're all great, everybody. They're all pulling for you. We have one of the gladiators. I believe Laser has the runner-up trophy. We'd like to present you with this for our great effort, great competition. And along with that, an all-expense paid trip to Hawaii. You can go out and lay in the sunshine for a little while in the Aloha State. I'd love it. Now think about all the spills, chills, and thrills. This is Grand Championship was. Rico, it's been a real joy watching you compete. Thank you. Thank you. Cowboy, you said you were going to do it, and you did it. I, I did it, but uh, it wasn't by myself. I had help of the good Lord and all my friends and family who came. <laughs> the Cowboy fans are still out there, too. They're here. They supported me all the way. I mean, I think it's, it was... They made so much of a difference, and that guy is an awesome competitor right there, and I'm glad I met him in the finals. And you, my friend, are an awesome competitor, too, and you are our grand champion, and we like one of the gladiators. Nitro, <laughs> along with us, Trophy and Gemini. Thank you. Cowboy is awesome. Did a great job. And Cowboy, along with that, a brand new car, $20,000 automobile. Ladies and gentlemen, our grand champion. We'll be right back after this short message with more American Gladiators. Thank you. Intelligent, athletic, Craig Branham and Duran Cumberbatch were the best of the most talented group of contenders, a group that included our runners-up Rico Costantino and Maria Nicktine. We salute our grand champions. That's it for this edition of the American Gladiators. For Larry Zonka, I'm Mike Adams saying so long from Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs>